Yes, sir. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, he hit himself into the Jones Podcast episode. Not nineteen. Not, wait, no, I tripled. I tripled. I tripped. I tripped. It's nineteen and a half. Damn, yes, sir. I, I usually be smooth with it. And no, I knew it this not time today. <laughs> you shut up, bro. I briefed you, but so yeah, we doing nineteen and a half today. It's not normal today. We're just gonna reflect. We're about to reach t- episode twenty. Which is hopefully just, you know, episode 20 of a lot of episodes uh, for Into the John podcast where we review great music. Actually, more like great artists who make great music, usually. usually. So, <laughs> <laughs> next week, my man. Next week, we, uh, ah, but yeah. So, today, we're just checking in. How y'all feeling? You know, we're, we're going to talk a little bit how we're feeling. Um, you, you know, y'all get to know us a little bit better. And then we can just talk about, you know, our experience so far in terms of the podcast, how we're feeling about it. And, you know, dumb fuckery, man. Like, that, that's what we want y'all to, to take away. Have some laughs and, you know, disagree with us because that shit is fun. Yeah. For sure. So, Jay, let's start off. Very simple question. How are we doing today? How you feeling? Um, what you do today? Work. <laughs> <laughs> I work. I watch the Justice League for the second time. The uh, second time, okay. A four okay. hour long movie. But uh yeah, and then I tried to go to sleep, but I, I couldn't, so I was just listening to music with my eyes closed for like an hour and a half. <laughs> bro, that sounds depressive, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro that sounds I, like a music video. <laughs> I wanted to take a nap, but like I, I just couldn't fall asleep. You know, I'm just sitting listening to music. I'm like, yeah, life. <laughs> <laughs> what music was you listening to? Uh the Anderson Pack. Uh oh, okay. Smino, Tribe Called oh, Quest. Yeah. Uh better than we talking about right. Play Tribe Called Quest. <laughs> <laughs> hey bro. Jalen, Jalen will always tell us about how that was a missed opportunity. <laughs> yeah, very missed, bro. Midnight Marauders, bro. I like every song on that album. Yo, fo- follow Jalen uh on Twitter, track 10. Yes. Like, man will tell you. Like w- like the music taste on there, it's immaculate. Wow. But also there was, there, he had a tribe. He had a tribe post, bro. Tribe called Quest. It's crazy, dude. For sure. So, yeah, y'all heard it from Jay. He's been a rock today. He's been a rock, but, we're, you know, we could come at you provocative today. Rock. You know, <laughs> that funky, those funky fresh styles. So, yeah, bro. Uh, for me, man, I, I just, I woke up. You. I'm kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, that shit. So, what? <laughs> I'm going to start. All right. What you trying to get into? But yeah. So I just put the fist up. You already know. So yeah, today I woke up, bro. I did some work early as shit. Eight o'clock. You probably was was up earlier than me because uh, of work. I was up at 445. What? I was up at 445. Bro, you on that rocky shit? Waking up early as fuck? <laughs> Running around the city going to work? That's weird, bro. <laughs> That's not okay. I can't knock the hustle. What goes through your mind when you wake up that early, dog? What song am I going to listen to? Because <laughs> I wake up, I yeah. can't. I snooze the alarm for like ten minutes, and it rings again. I'm like, all right, let me get up. And I <laughs> put my headphones in. I got a playlist called Late Night Slash Early Mornings, which is like, okay. like low vibe yeah. music. So I just listen to that in the morning. And I eat, brush my teeth, whatever, leave, go to work, and yeah, talk to myself for six hours or eight hours, however long I'm working. Talk, talk to yourself yeah for eight hours yes <laughs> but you know what you should do bro what look so you see y'all can't see it uh for from our people listening to podcasts on, on different platforms but if you're on youtube you can see like i just hide airpods behind my hair and so then i get away with a lot of shit in class but i don't want so AirPods. i thought that could work <laughs> out. oh okay y'all y'all better go home jaylen get my man to go find me the fuck Facts, bro. Best <laughs> I be airpods bumping every day <laughs> for bro up to, y'all look you could just hide that joan bro especially with bro. you know these I shifts do it, go by so fast <laughs> You you could just dead ass just listen to every album we've done in a day. Well, not every album, but in, in a week you could. Hundred percent. Yeah. So sorry, y'all. Just just a little diversion, which is fine for this episode. Yes, sir. You know, you know. But dog, you talking about like you wake up right? The alarm goes twice, then you get up, bro. 
when the alarm tries to wake me up like at eight, bro, I just unplug that bitch and go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I, have like, I have like an actual like electric alarm or something, like some shit. A lot of shit, a hundred decibels. Uh, is over there clunky as fuck. It's so like you just big. wake up, yank that, drum out the wall, <laughs> go back to sleep. <laughs> For real, bro. Wow. There's like a little cable in the in like its asshole. I just <laughs> yank that shit. <laughs> You know, like like in the back of the alarm, yeah, I just yanked yeah. that shit out, bro. And like, I feel bad for my roommate because you know it wakes him up. But I still best believe I still wow. set that shit every day to wake up to it and and, and go back to sleep. <laughs> so what's the point <laughs> of the alarm? She's gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> it's just to feel like I'm, you know, one of these days I I do get up. Like, um, Jalen, get guess my percentage at hitting three pointers. Guess it. Oh, correlate, oh, correlate. All right, so I have a twenty. <laughs> usually a twenty-five, which is right. You know, I'm not too good at that. But you see know. me, I'm usually like <laughs> fifty-four or something. Yo, bro, my man, six-nine, dog. Of yes, course, he's, of course, he's fifty-four percent. You know, and that's that's when he's guarded too. Crazy. Exactly. <laughs> nah, he's actually trash, bro. Y'all better, y'all better fuck oh, him my up. My badges is maxed out, bro. <laughs> Shut up, bro. What are what are badges from, bro? Two K. What like, are badges from Two K? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, all right. Name three badges from Two K. Um. <laughs> no, no, no. Sharpshooter. <laughs> Sharpshooter. Uh. <laughs> lockdown defender. Okay. Big man. <laughs> <laughs> bro, those are archetypes. Those are positions. <laughs> those are badges, my man. All right, y'all. You see, this this is this is how we correlate from downtown. <laughs> it is, that's not <laughs> All right, bro. Uh, you can obviously tell Jalen does not play that uh, you know trash video games, which is I good. Ain't which is good. 2K15. Yeah, no, nah, you you ain't missed out on nothing. Not not a not a very good franchise. Yeah, but yeah, y'all. So going back to me, you know, I'm I'm not have to play Jalen is in basketball. It's like pussy uh, fucking trash. Nah, but <laughs> but no, nah, bro, oh, wow. I'm going to post a one on one. We're gonna play one on one this summer, but in Philly, that... and you are gonna get cooked, bro. No, you're gonna get cooked, <laughs> bro. It's going. You know, it's going on the YouTube, right? That's fine. I'm gonna win. <laughs> it's, go, it's gonna go on the YouTube, on the Instagram, IGTV. Win, shooting threes on your face. <laughs> this bro, bro said, you know yo, what? You, My co worker invited up? me to go work out with him, too. Oh, shit, y'all. My face just fell, bro. He, he, he might have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> he might have a, this man, like, look, Jalen and I, we are not the most in shape people, but Jalen probably has an edge on me at the moment. So, this man starts working out, and he's taller than me. So yes, if, he, if he starts Start working, working out, out, bro, boom! <laughs> <laughs> if y'all didn't see it, he just gave me the shoulder. <laughs> I just try to just try to shoot it, but we'll we'll get into it one day. Maybe that maybe that'll be a little fun, like you know, running joke of the podcast. Jalen and Kelvin playing, you know, the ones um, running my shit, easy buckets. Um, the ankles are mine. <laughs> Comedy, young Kyrie. <laughs> Bro, bro, I fucking laughed and snot just flew out, dog. <laughs> how you how you gonna say my ankles are your well bro? I've never seen you dribble a ball. What I don't you remember, mean? I gotta I gotta wipe my nose. I don't remember you dribble a little ball. Bro, my I, handling I, is I, crazy, bro. Young Kyrie is what they call bro, me. Bro, young Kyrie, bro, shut your ass up, bro. <laughs> what the hell? I talk Kyrie Irving, everything he knows. You know, but uh, I taught a, uh, I taught a, uh, um, Ben Simmons. Dela you know? Nova. <laughs> <laughs> no, I taught Iguodala. Everything. You know? Death beam pointed at the earth. I want Iguodala. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I keep seeing Last like a couple shot. of those TikToks. Bro, you know, it's hilarious. Yeah, those TikToks hilarious, bro. That shit. Oh my gosh. But yeah, back to the alarm clock. All right. I can't shoot three, so you know I can't wake up. So, bro, I'm I'm telling you, like I just I, I don't be getting up, bro. I just how how do y'all find the like will to like get up? If I don't go to work, I will get fired. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. 
So when that, do you actually wake different. up? Then? I, I skip. I, I like I always. I usually wake up before class. Like my earliest classes are like ten a.m. So it's not too bad. And like so what I would do, like the alarm for nine thirty. Okay, that's the thing though. But like my dumbass thinks I'll be productive if I wake up at like seven or eight. But and get not. work done before class. That, that's what I'm saying. But then <laughs> that 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 false thinking, right? That false thinking, y'all. I'm the type of person who's like, oh yeah, I could do that. I could do that. Half the time, I might, not, I, I probably don't do it. So like, I'll go to sleep like fucking around because I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do that shit in the morning. In the morning before class, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be straight. There's nah, no. I don't. I do half of it in the morning. <laughs> go back to sleep and wake up during class. Uh, wow. <laughs> so. No, no, no. I'm a, I'm a good student, though. Don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. See, like me, I wake up like 30 minutes before class. You know, and be like, all right, cool. I'm in class. Go right back to sleep. <laughs> bro, pandemic learning, I can I can imagine. You did not give a fuck, bro. Nah. Unless I can class imagine. I actually liked. Yeah, y'all. So for Jalen, at least uh, I would tell you that if he's interested in learning something, like as a student, if he's interested, you know, he shows up. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but if it's like, you know, 80% of school, excuse me, that we're taught, it's not interesting. Facts. Cross, he could, cross history he class. Could, <laughs> yeah. Get, bro, man could care less. He could. <laughs> I, there's so many times in high school, I'd look over, boy, I was asleep, bro. Oh, or damn. he was just head down <laughs> at, looking at his phone. <laughs> uh, and, you know, the teachers ain't know no better because he's he smooth with it. You know, Crazy with it, bro. <laughs> okay, we say, but yeah. So we did a little check in. Uh, Jalen, anything happened this week? Um, notable or anything you know you want to tell the people? Want to tell me? Um, somebody got mad because there was enough cream cheese on a bagel. That's about it. All right. So, um, <laughs> what, what, what was her race? She was black, about like forty right, thought- years old, maybe fifty. Okay, I don't know why I'm racist. I thought white woman right off the bat. No, she um, came and she like, look at this. Yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> she, <laughs> she put that shit in your face. I opened it. I'm like, what's wrong with Wait, this? you touched it? Come on, bro. I had gloves on. What? I had to. Okay, 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 okay. And it was she ain't eat none of it, but like I opened it. I'm like, what's wrong with it? She was like, where's the cream cheese? I'm like. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was like, that's not cream cheese. I'm like, is this is what you ordered. It says cream cheese. <laughs> and she was like, I, I want more cream cheese. I'm like, okay. In so you my put head, I'm like, it? you couldn't just say that? <laughs> it was already cream cheese on it, but she wanted to like yeah. smothered in cream cheese. I'm like, bro. Wow. But she didn't ask for to, like, cream cheese before, so I just put a regular yeah. amount. Did you have to like like toast it again with, more, with the extra cream cheese? No, or? I asked someone, like, you just want a fresh one? She was like, it don't matter. I'm like, okay. And you're not getting a fresh one then. <laughs> Oh, you give her a fresh? Wait, okay. No, I did not give her a fresh one. Oh, oh, okay. I'm about to say. I'm like, bro. I was like, you nice because, like, like, you know, I'm in the poppy stores, that. bro. In the poppy stores, you come back complaining, bro. It's going to cost you extra. <laughs> you don't have to, you're going to have to pay us at least 50 cents. You want extra onions? All right, weird, but give us the extra, you know, dollar, extra 50 cents. <laughs> that is not worth. Well, hey. I mean, if, if that's the only notable thing of the week, then... Nothing bad happened. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like a good job. Wait. There's just sneakers I wanted, but I didn't get. Oh, shit. Literally, they dropped at 10 a.m. Logged on to the John. I was at work, too. Went to the back. I'm like, yeah. I'm open this John. Started lagging oh. as soon as I opened the app. I'm like, ain't no way. So I was a couple seconds late. Went to the size. Damn. Like, Man, I get your size. I'm like, bruh. Damn, bro. Like what app? Do you, is it is it the one app that people hate because there's no shoes available? Or is it a different app? It was a sneakers app. Oh like, that's yeah, that's app, the that's know? the John I heard that people are really uh like, they don't fuck with, bro. And it's just one John's I released on the tenth. It's like I think it's Red Jordan fives, bro. If I don't get those, I'm gonna cry. Because <laughs> I know uh, they about to be resold for like four or five hundred dollars. Yeah, and that's just not worth it. And if or, I got work that day, I'm like, yo, I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, yeah, bro. You got to plan your, you got to start planning your breaks, bro. You got to get to the back expeditiously, bro. I had that drone open at 9.59. Boom. So I got- hit 10, pressing a button. If I don't get it, I'm suing. <laughs> bro, you don't get, bro. That shit going to be uh, Nike versus Jalen Brooks uh, Supreme <laughs> Court case. <laughs> Man, gonna be heated, but uh, I, I got some news for you this week, bro. What happened, bro? So, y'all, you know, I'm broke, 
I need funds. <laughs> Jalen's already grinding. He, he got a lottery. job. I'm not old enough for that. But uh, <laughs> I know, I know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a waste of some sperm. I, I get it. But, <laughs> but I got a summer job, y'all. They're going to let me, uh, you know, be a writing tutor for them in the summer. I nice. appreciate it. It's, it's, you know, it's a light couple hours a week. How you much are they paying you? No idea. <laughs> you mean no idea? I, I, I didn't get the details <laughs> yet. Pay me seven twenty five, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that shit said, uh, "Did y'all mean to move the decimal over?" <laughs> 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 that shit, no. You're getting, you're getting. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, that's to the left, right? Seventy two cents an hour. <laughs> For real. Oh my god! But no, I'm hyped because like this is the first like official job that's not the poppy store. Now, I'm gonna get because you know I'm Dominican. Poppy True. store's always been what I've worked at. Uh, I'm I'm out I'm I'm out the mud, y'all. I'm out the mud. I'm what out. if your dad? You know, it's, it's remote. He he would, but <laughs> 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 what, what is my president gonna say? Work at the poppy store for ten thousand hours. <laughs> True, the resume just count. count. I mean, you could do so, both if you wanted to, though. That's true, but my plan, right? Because that is that one feels more part time. So my plan is to get a, a, another internship at like you know another place, Nat Geo, maybe. Um, I apply for the them. Daily you know, I'm applying for other stuff. It's not real. What's the newspaper? That's a, that's a, uh, Inquirer. Inquirer. There we go. Bro, how how did you come up with a fire ass name off the spot? Bro? The Daily Planet. Is the, that that shit's got a fire. Newspaper bro. name from DC. That's for Lois Lane or Superman word. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> no! <laughs> Yo, my hallway just hear me yelling. Uh, I'm not sure. Somebody should be like, I know. <laughs> I wish. But I would I would I would have. Yeah, all right. No, man. <laughs> say that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't see. Uh, yeah, how you say his name? Uh, Tra Rags or Trey Rags? Rags. Yeah, Tra- Why is it spelled T R A? I don't know. A lot of people say it's so weird. <laughs> All right, but yeah, Trey Rags, you put a little Jonah. That's what we do. It. So yeah, so that's that's what my week has been. You know, so, some like we got some W's, you yes, know. Sir. And uh, I know Jay's been watching the, the new Justice League movie. I heard it's great. Fire. Yeah. Four hours how, long. how long is it? Four how hours many? and two minutes. How's it for? How's it four hours? Because it's four hours of footage. And I Damn, twice, that's it. So. You watched it. Oh my god! It must be must be different. Fire must be different. So uh, so 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 DC Universe coming coming it's, it's coming different now. Okay. If Zack Snyder produces every single movie, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sounds like they got they got a chance now. All right. They do. So, all right. So all right. That was just for us a little segment for us for y'all to get us know know us better. It, it was just a little checker, you know. So now we do, we're gonna talk a little bit about the podcast, the music that y'all really care about. I'm not saying you don't care about us, because you know, you're here every week. Facts. Or, you know, um, please don't ever leave us on just saying you need to understand that I love you. And then, all right, but no, what did you just say? I spoke English, bro. Something sure. you don't understand, bro. But yeah, yeah, we do appreciate people who come back, you know, every week listening to us. And the people who pop in, how y'all doing? 19 and a half. We're doing good. So in terms of you know, for the podcast, yeah, who like has there been a, a revelation? You sent a heart up. Is that I for would, me? No, I was just oh. trying to see if I could do it. But continue. <laughs> <laughs> so Jay just like made a really weird heart sign with his uh hands. So I tried it. <sighs> I'm amazing. Look, but I'm basically, no, <laughs> Jaylen. <laughs> I, no. I, Y'all, y'all didn't hear that. Y'all didn't hear that. So, Jay, <laughs> so fun podcast, right? We're basically 20 episodes in, my guy. Yes, sir. That's 20 weeks. Right? right. 20 weeks of consistency from your boys. That's Look crazy. at us. We're looking great. So, has there been, like, any revelation? Or has there been, like, what's your main takeaway right now from the podcast? Uh, Eminem is trash. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Stand yeah, bro. Up. But, um... Main takeaway is uh, top thirty. <laughs> <laughs> greater appreciation for like certain music, like especially for Kanye. Okay, 
Like, oh, God, yeah. yeah. God, he's a God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all can tell we on that, bro. I'm, I'm telling y'all, this is the third, fourth time hey, I'm listening. Hey, Lisa, made... come home. <laughs> can't oh, home yeah, can't roam without Caesar. Caesar. Every time I hear that bar, I think about Jalen. <laughs> Every time I hear that bar, I think about Jalen. <laughs> but, yeah. Shoo-wee. So, <laughs> Well, what's the, what's the other thing I want to say? Oh, yeah. But there's a reason why, bro. After we listened to Kanye, I immediately made a presentation about why Kanye West is God. So, Crazy. <laughs> if, that'll, that'll, if that'll explain it, bro. If that'll explain it enough, bro. Facts. That, that's what it is. But, yeah. So, would you say so far, right? Like, for favorite artists that, we've, that we reviewed, who would you say it is right now? It's not Wu Tang for you that much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll t- I'm gonna I'm a take some pride in that. Hopefully, Eminem isn't <laughs> worse than Wu Tang. Um, it's not. That's my. <laughs> yeah, ho- but we'll, we'll see, bro. We'll see. M it's has either Kanye so or Outkast. It's one of the two, right? Yeah, no. Outkast is like. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, bro, Andre and Big Boy is nothing like them. Nothing. There's nothing. 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 I mean, I know, like, a lot of people compare Earth Gang to Outkast, and they say, like, instead of it being, like, Andre and Big Boy, it's, like, two Andres, which right. I can tell by, like, sound and flow. Like, Johnny yeah. Venus, the one that sings mostly, like, that's, like, Love Below, whatchamacallit, yeah. Andre. Yeah. And the other boy, whose name I forgot. Definitely Influence. Is, yeah. He's, like, a Quemini and ATL and Andre. But I got a reason mm-hmm. to say album that came out like two years ago. I remember I I was was like I was whatever before I listened to it. But I listened to it again. But Outcast is something different. But so is Kanye. Absolutely, absolutely, bro. You, like that's definitely what I'd say. Like it also like for me like my takeaway from the podcast is that like 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 listening to so much music now, right? Yeah. And start and you know starting to understand you know the world of hip hop more with something you know. I really wanted to do and that's why right. like you know that's why i jumped at this bro and i was like let's do it man let's talk about it is that like just hearing like in comparison like now i can like really compare like these different artists to each other because before i'm like oh, man yo tyler's amazing man mac miller's amazing man ain't no one like him but now you you, you can actually start like for, at least for me i can start putting them in the scope right. of you know the hip-hop universe and i'm like okay definitely we had this conversation before where Kanye West, right? right? At least so far, a more prolific and a better artist than like Tyler the Creator. Yes. Right? Yes. And then like just like we can now put people in, in like in this understanding, which I just really love. But bro, I like so far outcast is I've been listening to Outcast so much. Dog. Like when I oh, study play it's a new school food. This cats keep it different like kangaroo. Like kangaroo. School the bottom, bro, 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 bro. I'll say like I, yo Jay, you know I really warmed up to that song. I, I, I understand what you're yes, talking sir. about. I, 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 really... <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo, my idea, just 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 well, I'm freestyling right now, but my idea is we can have a podcast episode where we just revisit, right? Yes, sir. A certain segment. Of, of the pod like our first segment i think we could just go back and just like re-rank the albums true you know what i mean and i'll tell y'all i'll cast bro everything is a 10 <laughs> yeah and even y'all know i'm stingy y'all know i'm stingy for you? no reason i'll cast i'll cast is getting a 10 yes yeah, getting a 10. yes a- at least one so but well, they Instagram account I'm posting a lot nowadays, bro. So I'm about to go down. <laughs> no, no, I know. Like, yeah. like, like, ah. <laughs> uh, I'll be, I'll be so hyped. But yeah, for me, I, like you know, you are saying Kanye between them, I still love Kanye. But like, it's just like for Kanye, I already knew like there was greatness there. You know True. I mean? And for Outkast, like I listened to the first two albums before, and yeah. I was like, man, they're great. But like, once you get deeper into that discography, yes, sir. Like, like the highs on Speaker Box and Love Below. Oh my gosh, God. dog. You oh are my gosh, prototype. my dog. I'll be listening to prototype. She lives in my lap like every day. Like if I'm studying, bro, th- I'm putting those on. So yeah, so I think we had a really good conversation about you know just appreciating the artists that we're listening to. And like I think for this podcast, like you might think about it as okay, well, they li- they're only listening to great music. It's more like we're listening to the great artists, or at least right. artists who who like definitely deserve a look at their entire disc- discography. Mac Miller is and- the greatest white rapper. Continue. He's he's the most consistent white rapper. <laughs> he's the most consistent. No, he's not. His first like four albums were trash. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, that's mixtapes. <laughs> okay, kids. Okay, what about Blue Park? Al- for, first, 
What happened? Do side park. That, that was that wasn't good. Okay. But that's one John. <laughs> the second John, we agreed it was like a seven or a watching six, movies with right. the sound off or whatever. Yeah, yeah. it was alright. It was alright. Yeah, it was alright. And then, but then after that, it was just like this. Good AM, divine feminine, <laughs> swimming, circles. Right, right. And those are all like eight plus or around eight. Very solid. Very you saw solid. saw my post stuff. on Twitter, right? With like top five uh, Mac Miller albums, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I yeah. really like your list there. Yes, uh, one day, yeah, I just, I'd love to revisit the people that we listened to at the beginning, you know, do them even more justice because, you know, we are gaining more knowledge as we go through this, y'all. Yes, sir. Well, yeah. So, you know, I think we had a really good discussion about our favorite artists. Uh, and Jalen, for you, let's let's hop into this. Uh, next question is, like, who would you say exceeded your expectations here? Who exceeded my expectations? Mac. Yeah. Definitely Mac. Mac. Right. Yeah. So can you, can you tell us a little more about, like, coming into it versus coming out of it? Because anytime you say listen to Mac Miller, I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, I don't really know <laughs> Yeah, I'd be is. like, do it, bro. Do it. It's kind of trash. <laughs> but like, I, I've oh. heard, like, two... <laughs> Before the pod, I've only heard like th- like three Mac Miller songs, which is like two. S- no, it was Hurt Feelings. Yeah, because like, uh, Jay, the song you got with Anderson Pack. Oh, name yeah. I forgot. And then I think it might have been Circles that Tyson played in the car one day. Mm-hmm. But those are the only three songs I heard before. And you know, going into it, we're like kids, best day ever, Lucy like, Park. I'm like, this sucks. But then we got the faces. <laughs> I'm like, all uh-huh. right. All right. <laughs> and we got the good AM. I'm like, cut the check. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that shit is grimy, bro. <laughs> Facts. And then we got to define feminine. Oh my god. Oh my. I think I think that was one of your favorite finds, bro. It was one of your favorite bro. finds. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, and we got the swimming. <laughs> Feelings. I'm always saying uh, I won't change, but I ain't the same. I ain't the same. And we got the circles. Yeah, you know. No, Cir- I circles is just circles is just sad. Bro. If life is but <laughs> a dream, wait, wait, wait. So, so, for, so for circles, what would you? Has your opinion changed any on circles? Not really. Not really. Okay, that's fine. Though. I still find it kind of boring, but it's still a good. Album. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's still some good parts to it. Yeah. So that's cool. So uh, I think, you know, for, at least from my part of this uh, question, I think someone who had really exceeded my expectations, oh, dog, I can tell you who didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I think for someone who exceeded it, strangely enough, right? Mm. I was I was already just talking about Outcast, but for Outcast, like, that's definitely one of them. I want to give you a different answer. Right. I think Kanye in a way. I didn't think Kanye would be like this godly. Like, I, I was like, yeah, Kanye has three classes, but like, the thing he has three certified classes, from, like certified yes, classics, sir, easily certified. And then other works, I, like there, I, I've never listened to an artist before, right? At least in hip hop, where I can point to like half of their song, half of their albums. I mean, at least half, and be like, oh yeah, that's classic material. Facts. This man is crazy. Facts. And it, like for me, it's over half. So, True. like, just to exceed my expectations, I, I'm, like, definitely one of my favorite artists of all time. And it's like, Amazing. he changes with the time so well. He does. He does. And he and, either yeah. forges the time, like he did with Graduation and 808s, and maybe even Yeezus. Maybe. Debatable. But, it's like, he either pioneers that time, and, like, everybody mm-hmm. starts, like, hopping on the Kanye wave and copies his sound. Or there's another sound that's taking over at the time, and he like and then, just formed around right, it and does right. so Life well. Right, Life of Pablo was beautiful, amazing, beautiful and like blend. he even helped produce whole lot of red, and which he did a great job and, at. Yeah, Kanye is just he, like he's a master at it. Because like, do just anything. think about the next pro. Think about the next project, bro. Think about the next God, project. Don, they're gonna go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be insane, bro. But yeah, so next, the next part of this question though is like, who who underperformed? Wu Tang. <laughs> Wu Tang. We'll say Wu Tang. The thing with Wu Tang, very big group, right? Yes. Like really good first couple albums. We'll say first two uh, albums. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the. I really like the third one was alright. No, nah, I, I like the third one a lot. But I saw somebody on Twitter say, "Oh yeah, Wu Tang Forever is more enjoyable than Thirty Six Chambers." I'm like, ain't no way. Yeah. Yeah, no bro. way yeah bro i'm gonna have to we gonna we gonna have to say nah bro we we gonna have to say nah we gonna have to say nah but i i did like the w a good amount i like the w a good amount it's just, was all right. yeah 
like what 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 I'll say is that they definitely deserve their place, but they kind of like how we say Kanye changed with the times and got better. We kind of change. changed with the time, right? They, they they went the times went on and like they were stuck. RZA changes his his his, his like kind of style for the worse. You know what I mean, like we talked yeah. about, like. Apparently, like all their solo discographies are better, which I only listened to two of their solo drums, which is Jizza's Liquid Sword and then Method yeah. Man's Takao. Yeah, I heard they're really good too. Liquid Sword was dope and Takao was cool too. But I right. really don't want to listen to Ghostface right. Killer because he's like highly praised. So I want to Yeah, yeah. so I think maybe, maybe one day we can uh, go into the solo drums because then yeah. there's definitely a lot of individual talent, but it just felt like unfocused at times for me for sure. Yeah. Like you said, it was lunch. It was lunch crap. They wrap up the table, bro. Yeah. They having fun. They having fun. Yeah. Um, but like when they did come together and like have like a political message, it was fire. It just, Facts. Facts. It just wasn't, you know, consistent with it. So you know who else underperformed for me so far, at least. Bro. Yeah. <clears throat> no, sure, man. I, I I hear you. Nah, bro. And the thing is, it's gonna get worse. <laughs> it's gonna get worse, bro. Like, I'm not, I don't think you're gonna be like. Dog, why do we review him like we do a Wu Tang? Mm. But I think you're gonna be like, what went yeah. wrong? <laughs> yeah, you'll be like, what went wrong? Like, what did he do? Get and back then, on know, the Viking, bro. Oh <laughs> my god, bro! <laughs> Need some more of that substance abuse. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. That's a bar, though. It will always be a bar. Facts. Uh, but yeah, no, I I can understand why he uh, underperformed. Because the thing with M is that like. Those 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 first albums are like at least for me like really great, but then after that, that that's that's the thing with him. It's like he has you know great albums, but then like his discography is just not consistent. You think about Kanye, oh my god, consistent all if the way Kanye's, through. Yeah, if anything, he's consistent. Yes. Well, Eminem, if anything, he's not consistent. And that's why his Eminem albums. Like, eh, 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 eh. Exactly, exactly. You'll have great songs, right? Like the high and the absolute low. Like My Stan. goodness, yeah. encore. Oh my God, what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> but then, but then, like, if you don't get the high and you don't get the low, you get the, the mid. Yeah. You know, I'd rather have, have mid than low. That is true. That is true. Um, that's that's what we saw with Wu. Wu was just constant mid, though. Yeah, which ended up getting boring, and that mid turned to low. <laughs> like that the is last true. The mid albums. did turn to low. Yeah, but there, there there will be some Eminem songs about a lot. We'll, we'll talk about Eminem. That's, you that's know, like, there's a Wu Tang like, album that is only like one copy of. Oh yeah, yeah, and it, and it apparently uh, it sold crazy, but apparently they fleeced the ball. Yeah, uh, and now it's in the hands of the government <laughs> or something. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Imagine just like trash ass music on there, bro. I, <laughs> <laughs> bro, that'd be terrible, bro. Imagine it finally gets released and it's like, wow, this this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> For real, the FBI or the government is just like, nah, we gonna we gonna expose them, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So, last question, I think we we can wrap this up. I feel like you know, nineteen and a half. You know, we we've gone through you know how we feel. And all, all all this stuff. So let's we can wrap it up with a with a with a good one here. Like which artist like have we listened to so far that you think hip hop needed the most? And you you don't have to name one. You don't have to name one. So far we've done we're we're in the process of we've done six basically so that far. Hip hop needed the most. Right. Or maybe not needed, but who do you think shaped help shape like influence who was who's the most influential that we've heard? The most influential. Kanye, as far as overall rap and production mm-hmm. goes, but strictly for like Southern rap and like personalities, Outcast. Right, right. Absolutely, bro. And then for the whole like running squad deep Wu Tang. Right, right. And I think. Cause you know Wu Tang show like you can you can have a group and then just spun off like solo careers and shit like that, yeah. which people love because that that's a W for sure. Yes, sir. So, I think definitely agree with you there. Wu Tang has a lot a lot of influence for sure, but I definitely go with Kanye and, and Outkast as my mains right now. We have to see what we have to see with Tyler, uh, Mac. I think Mac's influence will just be limited. Listen, um, if sadly. Tyler's next album hits either number one or number two. He's gonna be one of the most sought off, sought out artists for the next like ten years. 
For sure. And the thing is, Tyler just, I think he just turned 30. Or he's going to turn 30. So he's Tyler's now. This year, yeah. yeah. Like he's now, like, not saying like on the back, but like he's not young anymore. So we know what really to expect from him. Mm-hmm. And what we're getting is constantly really good music. And like, Fox. Just imagine if Tyler's career developed, his art just stays this consistent going forward. Um, he's in the next kind. He's crazy. <laughs> right. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, he, and, and Tyler does have a lot of influence. Yes, sir. I think especially in our meme culture. So I, I'd say I'd say Tyler actually, like at least for me, uh, for what I've seen for our generation, is is, is Tyler and Kanye for sure Like yeah. are like right there. And then Outkast, I think Outkast in terms of shaping hip hop, because, you know, Andre was the first person really singing. And like that's when people started to like accept rappers singing too, and then there's just so much going on. Like Andre was wearing crazy shit, and you know he was just like, "I'm not gay. I just want to boogie to some more of it." He's just expressive. Right. <laughs> so that's what I lo- I like. I love thinking of you know Kanye's, Tyler's, and Outkast influence. And then uh, one more person, uh, in terms of musically, not as much. Yeah, there's a lot of white rappers, but at least like in terms of like who listens to hip hop now. Eminem definitely like at least opened a door. Yeah, he did. He opened the the, the racial doors. Introduced more white that. people to rap. I, yeah, I, I thought that. I thought you were gonna say the the, the hillbillies. <laughs> <laughs> he let he let them come in here. You know, it, it's it's brought in some good people, but it also brought in people like Tom McDonald. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, with Twitter, I don't know why I would bring this up. But the Twitter was like, wait. This Tom McDonald song he just released, not bad. And then yeah. everyone just like quoted it and was like, you grew up on Eminem for real. <laughs> like, or <it> like, <laughs> like, you only listen to Eminem in his shows. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think Eminem jokes are really funny. Uh, I saw a tweet that said people that have Eminem in their top 15 only listen to Eminem. <laughs> hey, bro. That hurts. But I'm going to dispel <laughs> that. I'm going to dispel that, bro. I'm going to dispel it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, so um, that was a podcast, a uh, podcast 19 and a half. You know, we just kind of reflected about, you know, look back at how how things have been so far. We appreciate the support. You know, things things are progressing slowly. Yes, and, sir. And the thing is, the main thing that we love is that it's progressing, that, you know, there's consistency there. And we really appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. And to the people that come on in the future. <laughs> What's up? I know you're listening from yeah. the back to the front, as you should. So yeah, hope hope y'all enjoy this this uh, journey with us. That was in my turn to do the outro. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, oh. just, <laughs> say, say say whatever you want, bro. You got it. Uh yeah, thank you for uh, watching. Uh, if you even watch this video, poggers. Right, if you listen, yeah, I uh, listen as well. Um, no, my receipt ball. Uh, it what? I bought up a receipt, but <clears throat> oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, Can you ball me up? Can you ball me up? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. But. That was sus. (laughs) But uh, But I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share with your uh, family. Y'all, mommy, you cousin. You cousin, too. (laughs) But, uh, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, share. I said that. Uh, Enjoy.